Mom, how, how old are you? 67. Hold on, Mom, what's, what's your name, Mom? Sue. Sue? Sue? Who told you about OnlyFans? The daughter? What's your link? You sell feet pics? Do, do you actually sell feet pics? I should. I got teenage daughters, so I should. What? Oh, for the money. I said, oh, okay. I thought, I thought you meant like a collab. And I was like, that's, that's not cool, but probably profitable. Your grandkids love me? Oh, how, how old are the grandkids? 14 and 17. That's terrible parenting. That's, they should not know who I am at all. Man, why would you lie to them? That is, that's what they're gonna get their hopes. Where's, where are their, where are their dads? Or dad? It could, it could be single. Right? I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even mean it like that. You fucking assholes. It was accidental. You guys made her a whore, not me. <laughs> So he's at home with the kids right now. I like that. I like a, a good mom's night out. That's so cute. I didn't ask. I didn't ask though. Sixty-seven. Is anybody older than sixty-seven? On Earth? <laughs> anybody? If you if you had any advice to give to to everybody in here with good knees. What? That was that sucked, so that sucked a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know what? How would you feel if I put that on your tombstone? How would you feel? You'd be like, you'd be like, not a lot of work put into that. I was looking for some life-altering advice. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, it's almost time for you to wake up. No, it's 11:30. It is almost time for you to go to bed. Forever. Did you know that it's Black History Month? You did know that. Have you learned anything yet? No? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Does anybody have a, a Black History fact or, or statistic that would... Uh... Oh, let's hear this white guilt. What, what was it? What, what do you got? Um, um, African American um, invented the super soccer, Lonnie Johnson. What's that? They he invented the super soaker? No way! Wasn't it Lonnie what? What is it? Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. That's That sounds like every cornerback. I used to love the super soaker, man. Okay, that's, that's a good one. What's, uh, what's, another, what's another one? He also invented the Nerf gun. The same guy invented the Nerf gun? I mean, if they're gonna keep shooting each other, might as well be safe. <laughs> Y'all, dude, that's a good joke, man. Dude, can we end on a fun third? Does anybody have another one? Nope. <laughs> Not looking good, Connecticut. <laughs> We've heard enough. <laughs> What's that? It used to only be a week long until a president changed it to the month. Black History Month used to only be a week long, yeah. and then a president changed it to make, to make it the whole month, yeah. the shortest month. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what president it was? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> I do want to know this, actually. It was Lonnie Johnson. Bro. <laughs> yep. I was gonna give it a second. I was gonna say the same thing, bro. I was gonna act like I was Googling for 10 seconds. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, we are learning. We are learning some stuff. There's also police officers here. I met a. Uh, Officer Swindell. Officer Swindell. Did you meet Officer Swindell? Oh, is that his wife? Oh man, he said you take forever to come. He said that before the show. And he dared me that I wouldn't say it at the show. You seriously gotta work on that. That's his trigger finger. And they really, like, he's gotta. 
Oh, man. Now, he said you guys have great sex. He said he beats it up like you fit a description. He really does. But he said sometimes he lets her wear the bulletproof vest and everything. <laughs> they, they won't play. She puts on the bulletproof vest, and then she's a teacher. Sorry, I'm not one of your students. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's not even the last school shooting joke of the show. I lived in a crematory. You lived in a crematory? Yeah. My old apartment was a crematory. Pennsylvania had the first crematory. Why do you know that? <laughs> Who the fuck just knows that statistic? <laughs> Nerd. And it's right next to a nursing home. It's right next to a nursing home? The convenience. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> There's a cemetery by the Children's Hospital? Come on, Pennsylvania. Have a fucking heart, man. You do not put a cemetery next to a fucking children's hospital. You put it next to the school. You... I told you there was one more. I fucking told y'all, man. I didn't know where or how it was gonna go, but we fucking, we found it. <laughs> All right, that's the last one. Probably. <laughs> wife, girlfriend? Wife. Wife, congrats. How long? Six years. Six years, nice. How long you been together? Well, we've been married for five years. Married for five years yeah. together. So you got married after a year? Yeah, we have a son who's five. You have a son who's five? Yeah. You, what? <laughs> So you have a son who's five and you've been married for five years. I'm sure those numbers have nothing to do with each other. I'm sure you guys got married out of pure love and uh, when you were ready, I'm sure. You'll be fine. Probably be all right. Where'd, where'd you guys meet six years ago? At a dog park. At a dog park? Man, I know for a fact you don't even got a dog, bro. You the type of mother you the type of motherfucker to go to a dog park just Has anybody seen him? <laughs> until, until somebody is like, you know, help look for him? Yeah, maybe maybe he ran back to my place if you want <laughs> She gets to his house, I don't see a dog. Look again. <laughs> <laughs> I adopted my 16 year old daughter, so. You adopted her 16 year old daughter? After y'all were married? Well, yeah. Okay, I thought this was like pre dog park. I was like, that's, that's a bit strange. <laughs> Same day. <laughs> you met three new bitches at once. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Wife, daughter, dog. <laughs> Dude, I love a responsible stepdad, man. Just, just don't let this story end like most of those movies. <laughs> Pornhub. <laughs> you know, you know, do you guys want more kids or no? It's plenty. It's plenty. One boy, one girl. You, you nailed it. You're fine. If you knew our son, you would know why. If I knew your son, I would know why. What's wrong with your five-year-old? I'm pretty sure he's a serial killer. You're pretty sure he's a serial killer? Yeah, let's get him homeschooled ASAP. Let's, uh, what is he? Did you guys have three dogs? Like, what happened? <laughs> Some of you guys got that a little bit later. Yeah. Boy up front, what, 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 if you had to choose, what would you say is your, is your biggest fear? Scare the dark too. Scare the dark too? Pussy, let's go. Let's go. That's us, man. You and I, nightlight gang. <laughs> is, is this your lady? Girl, just girlfriend? And did you know he was afraid of the dark? It was a learning experience. It was a learning experience? <laughs> because I know how this experience went down. He stayed over at her house and kept the TV on, and she was like, how long are you gonna watch this movie for? 
And he was like, till the sun comes up, bitch, you go to sleep, okay? Do you know what your girl's biggest fear is? No, I don't. You don't know? Oh, man. Do you want to fill him in? Fish. Fish? How do you think he feels? And that's why you can't eat pussy in the dark. Two fears coming together to make one. You guys are gonna be okay. Next time she acts up, dog, take this bitch to an aquarium. If it doesn't work out, remember there's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? Both of you. It's cute, but also manageable, you know? You don't work near the dark, do you? You don't work a night shift or anything? Where do you work, my boy? Law enforcement. Law enforcement? So you really hate the dark. <laughs> you can beat his ass if you want to, man. There's nobody gonna stop you. Not one person. This is our house tonight, all right? You can fuck him up, no consequences. <laughs> Sorry, you're just the only black dude within a hundred rows. So thank you very much, man. What was your name, bro? Sarge. Sarge, great to meet you. My Niagara. Appreciate you, Sarge. No gun. That's a walkie-talkie, all right? You chill the fuck out, fish boy. My girl told me that I make sounds when I eat burgers. I didn't know. Apparently, I do. I'm eating a burger, and I'm like, She was like, are you eating that, or are you eating that? Think about it, who's sad when they're eating fast food? I'll tell you who's sad, the person eating a salad watching someone eat fast food. That's who's sad. So I pull up to this fast food restaurant with a big M on it. And the guy in the speaker's like, you know, may I help you? And I'm, I'm crying, I'm like, you have no idea. You're a cool ass dad, you know that? 100%. You have any sons? You know how many? My bad, little bro. My bad. My, my bad, homie. Oh my god. I almost fucked your son. How crazy is that? That's crazy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Young lady, how old are you? 20. 20? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, are you in college? Are you in school? Yeah. What are you studying? House sciences. House sciences? No. Health sciences. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be like you in the group. Psychiatry? Well, fucking say that, nerd. You know what I mean? Like, say, I didn't go to college, clearly. <laughs> you go to med school after this? Yeah. Are y'all in med school? Engineering. Ench Ooh. God, this is the battle of progressive women. Oh, man. This is what I like to see. Man, y'all have to kiss or something. <laughs> Dad, what do you do for it? Yeah. Renewable energy. Your renewable energy. Oh, you got money. <laughs> is, is it sol solar? Solar. Yeah. I don't have anything for that. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a regular respectable energy. He's making the world better and shit. Just trying to provide a bright future for his sons. <laughs> Stupid question to ask. What is an engineer? <laughs> Bro, I meet them all the time around the country. It's a very normal job. I know it's a good job. Like, what does an engineer do? Bob the Builder, but upgrade. Bob the Builder, but upgrade. Bob the builder, but upgrade. <laughs> is that really it? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was something totally different. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're back in the lead. <laughs> Is this the boyfriend that you're with? 
what 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 you what you do, man? Uh, marketing. Marketing? Yeah. What do you market? Water. You sell water? Oh man, this is kind of the worst place to do it. It's, it's everywhere. Have you tried Michigan? Well, that's not even a real thing, first and foremost. Um, I'm starting my master's right now. What are you getting your master's in? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. What do you want to do with that? Um, at the end of the day, like FBI, CIA, but you don't start there, so. FBI, CIA, for real? Are you going to find the clip? Okay. <laughs> I think it's a missing person. He was last seen in a canoe. <laughs> Where do you know this guy from? Are, now, are you two better friends than you and then, than her ex and you are at this point? Direct. We ditched him. Oh, you get both of you guys are friends with that guy. Crazy. I mean, like, mama's boy, hypocritical Catholic, and a mascot. A mascot. A mascot. What was the mascot? The Mavericks. He's a bull, and he loved that so much that he graduated, became the mascot for the Omaha Beef. He's like a football team here. The Omaha so, Beef. <laughs> There's no way there's a team called the Omaha. <laughs> Indoor football team. Indoor football, like lingerie? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, man. And then we also became the mascot for the, uh, the Union Omaha soccer team. I'm sorry, I can't get over Omaha beef. I really... <laughs> an indoor football team? <laughs> I hope, there's, I hope you guys have an indoor lingerie league that's called the Omaha Beef Curtains. <laughs> <gasps> Do you know Tanner? You work with him? Are you the beef curtains mascot? He moved to Texas now? He just took a professional mascot job. He took a professional mascot job? <laughs> Where? Minor leagues. I didn't know there were like minor league mascot um, like hierarchies. I didn't know you could like work your way up to be in the pros. I thought like pro mascots was like rock bottom for people. <laughs> well, what's usually your type besides mascots? Uh, I slept with a pilot. You slept with a pilot? Yeah. Why, like Spirit Airlines? Or like, or like Navy Jet pilot? pilot. Like Air Force. Air Force? Yeah, I feel like he was a Southwest pilot wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Um, we worked at the dining hall together at college. Oh yeah, he worked at the college as well. And he went on to become a pilot in the Air Force? Well, that's kind of cool. He's like in the process, he's still gotta graduate. He's not even a pilot? So you haven't <laughs> fucked a pilot. <laughs> you fuck with a guy who likes planes. <laughs> you may have fucked an autistic guy. You said it like he crashed. <laughs> what airline? It's my airline. <laughs> How long did you date him for? Um, a year. You gave it a chance. And why didn't it work out? Would you say he's plain? That was so stupid. That was so stupid. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you. Yeah, no. No, I looked over. I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit. It's fine. It's fine. No one's gonna have a job. Oh, I'm embarrassing you. In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, Adam. You just got it. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I was good for you. That's it.
You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. <laughs> Can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I mean it. We're just like we're gonna meet out in the back. No. No. I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. I love watching you. Oh man, I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't scale my side of the room. She, she is very beautiful. <laughs> is she your birthday? That explains it. How old are you turning? 21. That explains it. Would you like the wrist, man? Come here. such an unrealistic, expect realist, unrealistic expectation for all women out there. Like, you guys really have to compete with, like, porn stars on every fucking platform. Step it up. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to tell you. The world is a dark place, okay? Sex sells and violence is pretty much always the answer. I don't know what else you guys want me to tell you. <laughs> what, do you what do you do for work here in San Jose? He, he can talk for himself. <laughs> You're in sales? Oh shit, what do you sell? I work for Xerox. You work for Xerox? Yeah. What's that? Very exciting. Oh, printers. Printers? There's still printers? <laughs> Holy shit. Do you, do you fix printers? You make them? You ship them? You sell, you sell them? How the fuck do you sell printers? What's the sales mechanism? How would, hey, you see this shit right here? How would you like that on paper? <laughs> you see, you see, if you look at orders on Instagram, they're all
you stood up and I was like, what's it like some day standing up? That's the worst. I don't know if shit. This bitch had every anniversary. How long ago was this? He got super religious, like stoning adultery religious. This was an ex-husband of yours? <laughs> After you guys got divorced, he got super religious? Super religious. Damn, he just Damn. got engaged to the pastor's daughter though, so makes sense. <laughs> he just got re-engaged to the pastor's daughter? Look at God, you know what I mean? <laughs> Won't he do it, you know? I mean, after, after you married to Satan for a certain amount of years, you know, you kind of want to turn your life around, you know? I gotta, you gotta dedicate your life to the good, to the good one. What, what was his religion? Do you remember, like, what his thing was? Baptist. Ba so, like, Baptist? Okay. Now, what about him being Baptist was, like, kind of annoying to you? Like, what practices are part of the religion? Um, sex. Sex? <laughs> what about it? Strictly missionary. She's okay now. She's okay now. <laughs> You're saying it like some Catholic dude just tore it up from the back before the show. And you're like, this is my religion, absolutely. Oh my god. Gross. Don't, I don't need all that information. I do think I'd be a good dad, but just not yet. No. <laughs> I'm Baptist. You call me father. You know what I'm saying? The guy's an entrepreneur? Uh, what, what did he claim to do as an entrepreneur? He said that he was a producer. <laughs> How old was he? Oh, this is weird. Do I hear a teen at the end of this? How old? 21? You thought a 21 year old was a producer? All a 21 year old produces is so much cum. Like, that's literally it. That's our only export at that age. Oh my goodness. How long, how long ago was this? You be nice. How, how long ago was this encounter? Like, the day before you Oh my, hey, my bad, man. Get him. God damn, he was right. He was rude, but he was right. Did you say magic? Explain yourself. Did you fuck a magician? That's dope. I have a lot of friends and a lot of guys who will do magic on dates. You you know a lot of guys who do magic on dates? Yeah, this has happened a lot where guys have done magic tricks on dates. Dudes are out here doing magic? How the fuck do I compete with that? Watch me pull a condom out of my pocket. Oh my god. Yeah, what app is that? Ta-da! Oh, you got on ta-da? Oh, you gotta get on ta-da! But also, who's practicing magic and is like, this one's for the bitches? That's some slithering shit to do though, isn't it? That's some slithering shit. Wow. So this isn't a guy you've been on a date with. This is guys you know. Um, yeah, it's happened to a lot of my friends. You're saying it happened like they forced magic upon me. And I don't, I don't think that's the case. Unless they fucking put them in that box that they're supposed to saw them in half or like, now you stuck. That's, that, that, that's problematic. Incredible. You know how many dates I go on where I'm like, fuck, what are we talking about next? I wish this bitch would pull a fucking seven of hearts out from behind her ear or something. I guess I have gone on a date with a girl one time, and about a month later, she made a baby disappear. So, ta 
Sarah. dated somebody that was so religious that like you felt like it was kind of a hindrance to the relationship a little bit anybody no nobody gay oh you weren't going to heaven anyway huh? <laughs> see you in hell baby let's go dude if hell's where all the gay people are at sign me up bro that's just about to be a party boyfriend no He's out of town. He's out of town? Well, who's this? <laughs> Mr. In Town. <laughs> How do you know this gentleman? My friend. Your friend? How do you guys know each other? Sports. Sports? <laughs> what sports you play? Flag football. Flag football? Without the L? <laughs> Just having some fun. What is your name? Jordan. Jordan. Pleasure to meet you, Jordan. How? <laughs> Do you know them? I met him in the men's restroom. You met him in the men's restroom? <laughs> State your pronouns. You met the table full of women in the men's restroom? Men are in there on soft, okay? It's a very vulnerable place. He doesn't like when you go out with your friends. He doesn't like when you go out with your friends? Are they guy friends? <laughs> are they whores? <laughs> I don't know, that's tricky. I gotta beat all your friends. And are they hotter than you? <laughs> Preferably yes. <laughs> it's like cool. All right, you're not gonna be the star. Good. You're not gonna be. <laughs> is that is that something you're dealing with currently? Yes, yeah, something friends deal with. Yeah. It's something your friends deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Is that friend here? I know. You are the friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in a relationship right now with a guy who doesn't like you going out with your girls. No, I'm single. She's I'm single. I'm I bet. <laughs> Your. She's the single friend that he doesn't like her going out with. Oh. So you fuck around. It's not her, it's him. Call him up. I need both sides of the story right now. Alright, this is, this is your best friend, I assume. And now she's clashing with your boyfriend, so. No, no, no. Her boyfriend. What the fuck is happening in this story right now? This story has changed seven times. I thought you said she was single. Her, her, best, friend friend has a her best friend has a controlling boyfriend. Yes. Where yes. is the girl with the boyfriend? Not here. Oh, this bitch in a basement somewhere? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. She's not missing much because this story sucks, man. Good yeah, luck explaining this to the cops. <laughs> Where is she? Well, my friend has this boyfriend who's like kind of controlling with his friend's girlfriend. And then... He didn't do anything? He didn't do anything wrong or in life? <laughs> in life. In life? Yeah. Did he not have a job the entire time you guys were together? He did. He did? He worked in the ER? He worked in the ER? Oh, I'm sorry, you worked with a hero? <laughs> so how did he not do anything if he, if he worked in the ER? Was he the janitor? <laughs> Aside from work, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he was saving lives. <laughs> you don't think when Superman gets done, he's not like, oh, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did fucking chills. <laughs> oh my god. How much more do I have to do? <laughs> so you wanted him to do more with his life after the ER? <laughs> yes? You 
work for American Airlines? Oh, fuck you! Exactly like me. He's fluffy too. 10 years old, 162 pounds. Yeah, he's a little damn. And he's the cutest kid. You talk to him, his name is Frankie. He's like, Frankie, what do you like to do? I like microwave burritos and PlayStation. Me too. Only problem is he wakes up early, five o'clock every morning. Ebro! What? I'm hungry. Me too, make something. And he does. I can hear him in the kitchen making hot pockets, you know, freaking. He opens the door and doesn't close it, and the whole house freaking. Oh! <laughs> Hot pocket! Delicious! <laughs> not great back there, but were y'all homeschooled? Who says that to somebody? I want to, <laughs> to your best friend, I want to make sure I sleep with the most beautiful girl at school. And Jessica said no. <laughs> so do you want to? First and last names. Who does that? <laughs> Damn, that's so incriminating. <laughs> Bryant. God damn it, dude. Stop saying last names. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you still friends with him? Yes. I'm sure he's not going to appreciate this. You guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yes. yes. Wait, really? Yes. Oh if I'm telling you, you can't. No, we're 
Yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. You should not be in a position to leave reviews. Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. Hey. It should say, hey, bro. That's how it should start. As you may know, your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. Well, website. Get the fuck out of here. Well, it's not, it's not a yeah, you're not, you're not, not a dot org. org. Yeah. yeah. While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> yeah, what happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we oh. gotta stop this? <laughs> Oh, wait, too many school shootings. <laughs> <laughs> he said too many school shootings. Ah! Just contact your representative before it's too late. <laughs> you gotta call a guy and be like, "Hey, man, knock it off." <laughs> I'm trying to come over here. How no, no, hey, you call? You call your representative and just release the order. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm in fucking Florida, Chuck. You're not dead. Oh. <laughs> West Virginia would never. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a website, that's a family photo. <laughs> yeah, on Facebook. <laughs> Just dentist magazines. Oh, God. Is it better the other way? Is it better for the like a woman to look like this beautiful lady right here, but have a dick? <laughs> or to be this like burly ass dude with a pussy? <laughs> Like if you had to choose, <laughs> would you rather <laughs> smash the beautiful woman with the dick or like the dude with the like super tight pussy? Though? You know what I mean? Like it's the best pussy you ever had. You can be like, dude. <laughs> can he grow his hair out a little? <laughs> no. Damn, man. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we make it in this dude. <laughs> he bald and burly. I would wax that ass, dude. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, you're so mad. I'm sorry. So mad, dude. He looks like he's gonna repo your car, dude. <laughs> uh, now every time I look at you, I see a pussy. <laughs> sorry. Keep looking down like the pants are tight. I don't know, I'm like skinny jeans. <laughs> your wife is your wife? Oh, uh, she's gonna be making fun of you now. You gotta be having sex. Be like, I like how your pussy feels. <laughs> please do that, please. Just one time. When he's hitting it from the back, you just be like, oh, that pussy is nice. <laughs> you have to do that. Neither be married. Widowed. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. How, how long ago? Don't mind me asking. One year? Fuck, oh, that's so recent. Is he back on the market or what? <laughs> Can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? She did this. That's how old. This is my oh, turn me up. Yes, ma'am. No. <laughs> I never call a woman ma'am. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, age. 69? Yeah, you are. Oh, no. That's not bad. No. Oh man, we about to piss a ghost off. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. You're fantastic. I love, I love you're able to like laugh off these guys. This pot's fucking Shut up, I'm taking it. Can I, this will be the last thing I'm probably about. Can I, can I ask how? Or what from? Breathing problem, a lot of oxygen. Or maybe you took his breath away. <laughs>
You guys can't hear her in the back. She said, I would love to fuck you, but... <laughs> No, no, no. She, she, it's very beautiful. She said when her husband was in the hospital, he was telling the doctors, like, no, this is all her fault because she took my breath away. Oh, that's so sweet. God damn it. <laughs> How do you get your name? My name yes, ma'am. What is it? Sherry. Sherry. That's old as fuck. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, you must have been, been the one Frankie Valley was singing about. <laughs> To, uh, Mayflower. No, it was, it was Ultra Bar. Yeah, which apparently people hate. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> yeah. But it was packed with 18 year olds. Shut up. <laughs> So extra, and I was like, I wanted to say, Happy Birthday, Chief Keith. <laughs> uh, this is a very white crowd. So for anybody who doesn't know what Chief, Chief Keith is, picture the blackest dude of all time. <laughs> and he's, he's a very successful rapper. <laughs> and uh, I was, I was already dying, not how fun, knowing how funny it was gonna be to me just to receive that sign. I didn't anticipate that when they brought out this sign saying happy birthday cheeky with these sprinklers and bottles, every person in the club was like, Cheeky is here. No way Cheeky is in DC on the run up. And then it finally gets over to me and I'm just like, looking as white as possible. What are some red flags for a guy? What'd you say? <laughs> Children? Yeah, don't fuck those. <laughs> Pretty good red flag. Next. <laughs> I don't even want to dive into that. <laughs> Sounds like somebody learned a lesson the hard way. <laughs> Sounds like you got a basement just like this. <laughs> I assume you meant when a guy has children. Is that correct? Thank God. Why is that a red flag to you? I don't want to deal with the baby mom. How do you think she feels about you? Have you dated a guy with kids? Fuck no, then how do you know it's that bad? Yeah, they just Red got one. there. <laughs> I mean, he just bust like nine months ago. <laughs> oh, yes, do match. He's a matching snakeskin boots. It's both snakeskin? Python, yeah. Python. Fuck yeah. Not, not, none of those gardener snake bitches. <laughs> These are coupled up, obviously, matching. Nice. Right, so how long? Five years. Five years? Where'd you meet? In North Carolina. In North Carolina? That's specific. Where? <laughs> You met at a bar? At, well, yeah, I was underage and drunk. 
Hey, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Under 21, okay. You almost ruined the show. He approached you or you approached him? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> also not a good sign. Uh, what do you guys do? Basket weaver. Basket weaver? What the fuck, bro? You married to a fucking hunter-gatherer? What the fuck? You work for the fucking Easter Bunny, dog? That's coming up, that time of the year. That's actually how he got her at the bar. He just he laid down a trail of eggs. It was like... <laughs> and then he had one of those big picnic baskets up on a stick like this, and then she went underneath it, and he went, ah, got her. <laughs> like a fucking Looney Tune. <laughs> how long have you been doing that for? Five years. Five, five years? Did she take your fucking manhood, dog? What did you do beforehand? Work at a steel mill? Coal mines. Coal mines? Are you serious? <laughs> and made you start weeping baskets. Um. Sorry. Do you like it? Yeah. Come on, man. It's just us. You enjoy the job? It's fine. It's all right. What would you like to do if you could do anything in the entire world? Any job? Fly a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Interesting. Man, I, I used to love helicopters, but I'm also a Lakers fan. And you know what's fucked up? He's wearing a black mamba on his feet. <laughs> Can I see one of the boots? Are you able to take one of them off? This is the real deal, man. This is some real shit right here. <laughs> Smell his boo. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. This is so stupid. As if, as if I would ever... I will ask you man to man, what, what would you say is your biggest fear? I don't like clowns. You don't like clowns either? Is, it, is this your lady you're with? Yeah. Girlfriend, wife? Uh, fiance. fiance. Congratulations. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> how, how long have you guys been together? Three. Three years. And did you know he was afraid of clowns? <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> and you've been wearing all this makeup the whole time. You didn't know he was that afraid of clowns. You were about to marry a man you didn't know you couldn't take to the circus. <laughs> Seems like vital information. Do you guys have kids? Five. God. Okay. Demon children. Demon children? One lives in my dad's house. One lives in your dad's house? Is that your sister? There's three spirits. One, one's a guy, one's a woman, and one's a child. One got murdered. One got murdered. And one was a, a madam. And one's a, one was a madam. Sounds like your dad's running a whorehouse. Where does he live? I'm gonna check out these demons. These semen demons. Some of these throat ghosts. <laughs> it attacked two of the two of the tenants. Did they not pay? That's how it works. That's how a brothel works. I don't think you need an exorcism. I think you need a pimp. Somebody to keep shit in order. You know. No, that's actually not how it works. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. If you want to write the show for me, you can do it. <laughs> Not how it works. And this is, a, this, is also, this is a super funny common thing. People come to the show and they think because they just see crowd work online that that's like literally all the show is. Wrong. <laughs> no. It's a very small portion. 
actually never really had a chance to explain this on stage. The reason I, I don't get I don't really get annoyed about that unless you keep doing it. Um, because I'm, I'm a lot of people's like first experience at a comedy show. I, I, I'm actually genuinely curious. Who here has never been to a comedy show before? See? see, a lot of people have no idea how it works. So the reason I post crowd work stuff is because you're coming to see me, right? And how comedy works is you, you for, for a year, sometimes two, three years, you work on building an hour long set of material, right? But when you do that, it takes so long to do that. So imagine if I posted the same jokes you'd already just seen. You'd be pretty pissed off if you just paid to see the exact same jokes you saw online, right? So crowd work is something that can't really be duplicated. So it's something that happens uniquely at each individual show. And I get to share that experience. And you get to go, oh, he's funny. What else does he have? We'll go see him in fucking Salem. That's how it works. So we already did a little bit of crowd work. We'll see what happens later. <laughs> if you can afford front row seats next time, maybe you'll be the one. <laughs> With five kids, too? God damn, man. Y'all should be in the back back, dog. <laughs> Providing for a whole family out here. What do you do, by the way? Do you work? Are you a mom? You're a massage therapist? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like you work at her dad's house. There, we did some crowd work. Is this family night or friends or? What is it? Jeepers. What is that? You all own Jeeps, so you have to hang out with each other? It feels very forced, doesn't it? That's, that's not fair, because like, what if dudes who own motorcycles had to hang out with only dudes with small dicks? You know what I mean? Like that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude! Y'all two are married? How long have you guys been married? Almost 10 years? I didn't ask how many, how many kids do you guys have? We have three. Three total? 22, 19, and 18. Yeah, we're both out of your age range. Boy, boys or girls? You said we're both out of your age range? I'm not trying to cuck you and your husband. Okay? Jesus Christ. Comes up to me after the show, I'd really love it if you would fuck her in the cheek. I really would love it. I'll take the doors off and everything. I swear to God. You didn't when you got married, it was afterwards. How cold are you, kid? What's that? You're fucking with the fabric of Florida right now. Get it right. You're fucking slurring your speech. <laughs> do, you own, do you own a Jeep as well? No. Then shut the fuck up. I'm talking to Jeep. Do your cookies? Do I want well, what kind are they? Chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> You're my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Boo. Who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. 
That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray even once. There's a cutter, a cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity <laughs> with this bakery. <laughs> Anybody else see this picture moving? This shit really kicked him. I freaked the fuck out, bro. Bro? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? Uh, careful, dog. Careful. Do y'all watch Criminal Minds? One handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm Juan Moore. I told him when I got here. I've been watching him on YouTube. And, I, and I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person. Like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching it, me and my girl, my baby mom, and, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jenny, you're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt right. Check this out. We're going to meet the motherfucker, but you ain't going to fuck. Uh. <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like to see motherfuckers in And, this, and this, this young white boy, who wants to say nigga so bad, <laughs> he does all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it, because he'll get pissed. So when he comes to my house, I'm going to say, get it out of your system. Nigga, 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 I have never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube. And I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny. And he's pretty. And, and no, they were like, pretty people ain't supposed to be fun. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not yeah, pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. He's real and he's funny, and I DM'd him like a bitch, <laughs> and he DM'd me back like a bitch. <laughs> so now we got a romance going on, <laughs> and I said I'm gonna come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. <laughs> but he did give me the tickets for free. <laughs> so I'm gonna get off this stage, but I just wanna say I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. And I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right in whatever is in his heart, in like all, all his jokes and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of dicks. Because I think he can handle himself. But my point is, let's applaud the bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. Matt. Wait, is what? 
Oh, did you see it? Yeah. yeah. Fucking say something next time. We have big gnats here. They're like the big gnats here. I think those are called flies. <laughs> Dude, hold on. Dude, do I have it? Do I have it? Moment of truth. Yeah, drop it. Let's go. <laughs> Bitch, it fell out when I opened my hands. Damn, I'm an assassin, bro. I don't know if you're, well, show's not gonna get better than that. So, I think we should all get out of here and go to fucking Bass Pro Shop or whatever y'all do around here. What's in there? Can I have it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a milf. You're a milf? With the oh, yeah. <laughs> Just because you got kids, don't mean you're a milf. Uh, Lunchables, thank you so much. All right, you don't need to hand, I can see there's a lot in here. You don't need to hand me all of them. Okay, thank you. Thank, all right, so we'll save some for your children, maybe. I'm going to put them back in here. Wow, look, it's a Missouri salad. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's combos. Is a folder? Yeah. Is it your record? What the fuck is it? It's a sexual consent form. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> this is legit. So it goes the Sit down. Before you're not able to. Yeah. So it's a, it's a legitimate sexual consent form. Um, the parties, this sexual consent form is made July 12th, to, oh, only today, huh? Damn, damn. Don, it's tomorrow, I was open to it. Man. The proposer, and consenter, Matt Reif, not my signature, by the way, I want to be very, very clear about that. Uh, whereas the proposer and consenter are sexually attracted to each other. and would like to manifest that sexual attraction through participation in one or more sexual acts. Time. Therefore, the consent and proposer make their bodies available to each other for the aforesaid purpose from 11.30 p.m. on the date of July 12th till for a period of 24 hours. Let's change that to 24 minutes. Activities. Oh, there's a check. There's a checklist for activities that are approved. Uh, full body touching, check. Kissing, check. Digital penetration. What does that? What does that mean? Digitally. You put a USB in somebody's pussy. What does that mean? Fingers. Oh, digits. Oh. No. Uh, oral sex receiving, okay. Oral sex giving, I'm all right. The proposer is using the following methods of contraception on an ongoing basis. It just says, the pill. I don't trust that it's not just Tylenol. I'm just gonna process what we've been through with 14 minutes. I almost fell. I killed a bald eagle is what we're going to tell people. We're going to tell people it was, a, it was a dangerous animal. And I was raped on paper. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Introverts? You know, like, intro I, I would say I'm introverted, despite this job. Like, I'm, I'm pretty introverted. Are you, are, you an, are you an extrovert? That's your thing, so you can go out to parties. You like to be center of attention? Clearly. <laughs> When was his last uh, introvert that you tried dating and you're like, he's not getting, he's not outspoken enough? You married an introvert? Are you still married to him? You, but you, but you gave him 16 years of just silence? And what was the final straw? You were like, I just can't deal with it. And he was like, I don't know what you want me to do. What, what, was, the, what was the final straw, if you don't mind me asking? It is like therapy. You want to be an extrovert, fucking talk. No, don't. Don't talk to me.
me when I want to talk to you. What do we? What did, he, what did he do for work? Was he like an office job kind of guy? CPA. CPA? What's that? What is it? An accountant? Yeah, this motherfucker crunches numbers for a living. You didn't see this coming? You thought he was going to be class clown? This motherfucker eats pussy with a green visor on. Are you kidding me? You kind of should have seen that coming a little bit. You sounds like you gave, you gave him a chance, though. Okay, so when, when, you, when you first met him, he was in marketing, working for Levi's. For some reason, he had all these gay friends. That would seem like an unnecessary detail of the story, but you felt like that out there. But I guess that's not, I've never met a gay introvert in my entire life. Even the bottoms are loud as fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> do you have light-up shoes? I do. Why? <laughs> They're so bright. You're Was that? You said you're welcome? Yeah, thank you for bringing Christmas lights on your feet. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you click your heels together three times, you go back to Dayton. How cute is that? <laughs> can I see it? Can I see it so they understand? Can you take, can you, are you able to take one of them off? Or both, forever? <laughs> Look at this kiosk motherfucker right here. <laughs> you buy these at the same kiosk, you can get your phone screen fixed for $7.99. <laughs> Amazon, you got those on Amazon? Yeah. Give them back, free return policy. <laughs> What you should say? Put your balls all over me. It's Christmas. I feel like you can't wait to have your chimney come down. That's why. Oh my God. It's been a hard year. It feels like you've learned nothing. No, I had my whore face in the Marines. fine. What? Did you say I had my whore phase in the Marines? Yeah, that's what I want my soldiers doing. <laughs> How'd you get those hostages back? Well... <laughs> soldiers are army, marines are marines. Well, those shoes are awful regardless. So <laughs> those can't be service mandatory. What did you do in the marines besides suck dick? Circumcise. Circumcise. <laughs> oh, it's Semper Fi. Sorry, sorry. Different one. Different one. Sorry. I didn't know. What's another one? You. Whoa. Oh. Alright, bitch, turn these lights on. Turn the house lights on right now. I ain't her up right now. Who said more? What about, what, what? <laughs> what about me? I'm too cocky. Well, imagine I was like a timid comedian, and I was like, "You guys, you guys ever have your your, your grandpa fuck, fuck a flashlight?" <laughs> Confidence is like so key, you know what I mean? Like especially to delivery, you know? <laughs> hey, I I come quick like everybody else. Okay, I'm just I'm simply human, you know. <laughs> uh, was that it? Is, is it is it ego thing? You think? No. No. You changed your answer. What is, what is it now? Huh? She told you not to do it. She told you not to do it? You should listen to your friends. Did she give me your number? No. No. <laughs> so please, nobody give me their number. What's that? I should give you my number. All right, go ahead and read it out loud for everybody. Go ahead. I'll take it down right now. What is it? She won't do it. <laughs> Go ahead, what is it all though? Squirrel, Okay. Oh, Did I get that right? 911, right? That's what you said. Is that, is that who you call? Is that who you call to file a restraining order? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, what's your social security number? This is throwing numbers around. Dude, my grandfather was born in 1880. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have any pictures of him. 
we, we had a description of my grandfather framed on the wall. Somebody wrote down what he looked like and mom framed it. And I'd go up by it and be like, just like him. <laughs> I'm gonna come up. Yeah. Feels real good after I've been so blue. Well, that's loyalty. It sounds like if, he should, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you break up a family. He's still in his house with his wife and his baby. The audacity of this man to live happily ever after. What's the problem? He doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he, should be da- he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Uh, four months. Four months? That's tough. That's, that, this, you know what, this is a little too early to be having this many red flags, to be honest. Like, this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either, I'd say, break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? He was FaceTiming her the other day, and she was breastfeeding at the same time. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> How are they? <laughs> it sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Yay. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe. You might, be, you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> this shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't know, they have fucking... They wear flip flops or something silly, but y'all are like, no, my life is in pieces. We had one fella that got hit by lightning, but he had, uh, yeah, he prearranged it for, to try to get that money. And the crazy part was, dude, he was in a damn coma, and we were jealous of him, man. We're like, look at this rich motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Breathing on our tax dollars over here. Who's with you right here? My partner. Partner? Gay? Aww. Aww. Where'd you guys meet? On Tinder. On Tinder? For real? Yeah. Aww, man. We have an eight month old. You have an eight month old? No way. Really? Where, uh,. Where'd you find it? <laughs> Adoption? Okay, just making sure it wasn't also tampered. Like, I don't fucking know. Just want to make, want to make sure. Let me make sure. An adoption tender, you just like, no, yes, no. <laughs> Call it something cute like chicken tender, you know? <laughs> something kid friendly. Eight month old boy, girl. Girl, you don't know that. Canceled. Eight-month-old girl. What's her name? Ariella. Ariella? That's the gayest name you could have chosen. White? Mixed. Mixed? You got a mixed baby. Yeah. Nice. So it could be either Ariel. Yeah. That's good. That's best-case scenario. <coughs> Gay as well? Nice. Two lesbian, two gay. Bro, y'all should fist fight. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. How long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years? Suck it. <laughs> As if that wasn't on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What did you two meet? Online. Online as well? Which one? Plenty of fish? <laughs> Which one? What, what, what was it? Her? I haven't heard of this. Is it all lesbian dating app? 
Now what's the format of that? Swipe left, swipe right, just get your fingers warmed up. Is there like a certain thing she needs to look for, a certain quality maybe, a green flag to look for? One leggy guy! <laughs> Bad motorcycle rides. <laughs> so fucking Florida. Oh my god. How long ago was that? Twelve years. Twelve years ago? Damn. What was that? Twelve, fourteen, I don't know. Were you drinking during this motorcycle accident? Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir? Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> Wait, give me a give me a pro and a con. I quit. You quit? <laughs> Drinking, hopefully? <laughs> What's your name, man? Brett, Brett, and I used to get it wet. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> Brett, Brett, I used to get it wet? <laughs> what did you used to get wet? The other leg? Start this shit, okay? You gonna fucking take his side in the middle of a heckle fest? The last thing this guy needs is a leg up advantage. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna need you to be quiet now, okay? One more time for Brett, everybody. I try to write a poem, and I am pretty nervous, uh, but I will do my best. My wiener is chill, man. It ain't trying to do no crime. It ain't even that hard a lot of the time. And that's true, actually, because a lot of times I'll get, like, those wiener pills from the gas station. You know what I'm talking about? Them real giraffe makers, you know? Make my legs sweat, actually. My wiener is trill. My wiener is candid. It looks like Joe Pesci. It's that wet bandit. Um... <laughs> But I'm lit to the fact that girls are far more than sex. They are champions and soldiers with power in their breasts. They are creative and equal and warm and life-bringing. I love Dolly Parton, but it's because of her singing. <laughs> My wiener is chill, man. It ain't trying to do crime. It ain't even that hard a lot of the time. My wiener ain't Weinstein. My wiener ain't Cosby. But sometimes it wishes for a little bit of a Josby. You feel me? What you watching over there, bro? You said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they? At? Bro, I'll go beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like a, a notification on your phone? Yeah, you said something. This is Tesla. What's that? Said something set my alarm. Something set the alarm. Are you parked outside? Yeah. You want to go check? <laughs> do, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? Yeah. That's what he was watching. Is somebody out there? What's it looking like? <laughs> Could you imagine we roll out there with 300 people and just like, hey, hey, pop the frunk. <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have the Watt? You like? I have the three. You like it? Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. Because like two months ago, I was, I was in LA and I was driving on the freeway. And I, I was in the driver's seat and, and Alex, who was up here before me, was in the passenger seat. He's like, how you feel, man? I was like, I don't know, man. Things just, sometimes things just don't really, really be going the way that you hope they're going. And, and you know, like, what if, what if this kind of spike in my career just kind of like a flash in the pan? You can't make it last or whatever. And he was like, you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time? <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah. It's getting driven around. <laughs> And then he topped me off, dude. It was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know. You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> he was like, somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, how's it feel? <laughs> Shots fired. How's it feel?
If you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? <laughs> what would you say? Streaking. Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution. I like streaking. Come on, get rid of that law, man. <laughs> Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. <laughs> like, that's... Ma'am, how old are you? 55. Do you remember the, f the first non-pornographic thing that you... <laughs> My imagination? Was it your imagination? What were you thinking about? <laughs> what was your imagination? What were you thinking of? Was it, was it a teacher at school? Was it a, uh, a celebrity yeah, crush? It was. it was a teacher at school? I hope he wasn't having the same dream. <laughs> wow. Who was the teacher? Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin. Some people owed because they're like, what if he's here? He's probably dead. He was your teacher then? Ah, probably. He's gay. He's gay? Oh, he's definitely dead. Satire, you guys. Just joking. <laughs> he was gay, that checks out. He was probably hot as fuck. He was really good at kickball? <laughs> That's what did it for you. The way he just fucking... <clears throat> But he was pointing to your brother. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? 80. 80 what? <laughs> 80 anything was about to blow my mind. Oh. <sighs> well, they, Mr. Martin was his name? Morton. 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 Right. Well, if anybody knows of Mr. Morton, tell him he had an alternate option. <laughs> Gay? Ah, all right, that's what's up. Good to see you, man. Your last name's not Morton, is it? No, no so I'm gonna make sure. How's your kickball game? Rusty. Rusty? Like a trombone? It's a sexual move. Do you know what a rusty trombone is? No. <sighs> I think I want to ruin this woman's night. So even, even, even I'm not one, I, I've never done or had one, but if I'm, if I'm imagining, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but isn't it, isn't it when you, you're, like, if a dude's standing like this, you would be like behind him, I think, and you put your mouth to his butthole, <laughs> and then you reach through and you go, ah, <laughs> <laughs> For the troops. Mm -hmm. Is your birthday? You got a little sash on? I have a crown, but it was hurting my head. You have a crown, but it was hurting your head? Yeah. Be stronger. <laughs> can I see the crown? She can, she can give it to me. Don't shoot her. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Oh man, look at that. I'm the mayor of San Francisco. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh man, and if you were offended by that, let it go. Let it go. The gays never bothered me anyways. <laughs> Are you guys going out after this or is this the birthday celebration? This is the birthday celebration. This is it? This is a seven o'clock event. You gotta get go. You gotta go out and get fucked up after this. That's so exciting. You what now? You work for a living. You work for a living? <laughs> Bitch, what you think I'm doing? You think I'm up here having fun? You think this is fun for me coming out here, hee hee ha ha, telling traumatic family stories about getting caught jerking off? You think this is fun for me? What do you do? You're an EMT. Ooh, a hero. Is your friend's birthday as well? No. 
What's that? What's her sash? Dancing diva. Dancing diva? I don't like that. Uh, you dance? Sometimes. What about for twenty dollars? No. Good. It's way too much. Okay. It was the only sash left. Is that what you said? You know you don't have to wear a sash for her birthday, right? That's such some girl shit to do. If you don't dance, best friend, what do, what do, you, what do you do? Well, are you talking about profession or just hobby life? We'll start with profession. Oh, uh, paramedic. You're paramedic as well. Oh, nice. You guys both saving lives. Good for y'all. Now, what's this hobby? Uh, mountain biking Super. and rock climbing. Mountain biking and rock climbing. Oh, you didn't say you were a lesbian. That's awesome. <laughs> Biking was a dead giveaway. What age were you when you shifted gears? Hey, do you have pegs on your mountain bike? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? You in the fur hall, you didn't hear me? <laughs> he has hearing aids. You have hearing aids too? Oh man. That is one of the more beneficial STDs you could have. You don't have a boyfriend? You got it right, she's lesbian. Shut up. Wait, you're really a lesbian? Shut up, for real? I knew it, dude. Oh, you didn't say it was a mountain dike. I mean, uh... Uh, I'm not, but don't laugh, dog. You security. You're supposed to be on a straight right now. How far along are you? Seven months. Oh my God, it's almost a year. It fucking hurts, right? Yeah. What would, if you could compare like a guy having to go through, like, what do you think we would have to go through to to, to experience something like that? Anal. Anal. <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I think it's a lot worse than anal. I, I would imagine. I think like it's, it's a different pain. I mean, you've taken a big shit before, you know? <laughs> That's basically anal, you know what I mean? Every dude in here has taken a shit so big that you're like, I could be gay, dude. Like this, this was light work, you know what I mean? Nothing, bro. <laughs> No. Mila and... Roberto. Roberto? Umberto. Umberto? Sure. I haven't heard that one before. Okay. What about you, Umberto? What are you doing? Uh, I'm a deputy sheriff. You're a sheriff? For real? I didn't mean anything I said. I, I, I was just fucking around up here. Uh, it's a cool name. Um, <laughs> and you've never shot anybody? You shot in somebody. <laughs> does that scare you about him like having to have a job like that? That's so dangerous. It does. If you don't get a response within the two hours, you just think he's dead? Yeah. It's not, it, no, that, he could just be cheating. Like, it's not, it's, it's not always that serious. It's not always that. Y'all gotta get some more black friends, bro. I'm telling you, man. Black dudes are so fucking... Oh, y'all read a book. I, I've got ESPN. <laughs> y'all gotta step the fuck up, bro. Thank you. That's beautiful. Well, you're making me scared. <laughs> Don't do that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Especially in the dark. I can't even fight you back there, dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Don't say it, be it. What? <laughs> what? You ain't a nigga, but act like one. <laughs> No. 
saying. I was given a script. I just played the part, okay? I want to thank the Academy. <laughs> Anybody gay? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? Biologically, what were you born? Female. Female. Oh, I appreciate you. What's your, what's your name? Carl. I go by Axel, but my name's Charlie. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Axel's my best friend. Your best, you let your best friend pick your name? Oh my God, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, "Your name, Baby Dick." From here on out. You chose the name? How did you, how did you land on Axel? I don't know. Maybe you chose like an Axel. <laughs> you built like a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> no, you built like a transmission. But that's a Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some, we should go get some bitches after this. Let's go. I got a 14 year so I'm down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation, biologically? Okay, gotcha. And why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? No way. I'm a drag king, so I met him doing drag. No way. Fuck you. What's up? You have a stage name? My name's Gunner Down. Gunner Down. With Gunner down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know, I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Good forearms on you, says your sisters. <laughs> What's your name? Casey. Casey and Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you, Casey and Jesse. You guys are adorable. Where'd you guys meet? In Columbus, Ohio? You guys drove from Ohio? You're not even allowed to be gay up there. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Stay down here. Well, well, <laughs> maybe. Let's go west a little bit. Yeah, um, you got here yesterday. Are you going back tomorrow? Did you guys do anything fun for Easter? Repent, maybe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys go to church this morning? You have food poisoning? Fuck. Eating the wrong fish. <laughs> That's Jesus saying clean up your life. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now what's Penn's mechanic like exactly in, in Columbus? It's like a, like a an arcade bar. Like um, pinball machines and stuff like that. Nice, just work on your finger and just... <laughs> Interesting. Do you remember who would you come out to first? You don't mind me asking. Your friends? And did they know? They were like, yeah, bitch, you, you look you dress like that, you don't skateboard at all. <laughs> You're young, you don't have to do it anytime soon. What would you ever want, kids, you think? If I'm rich. If you're rich? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to stop working at an arcade bar. <laughs> That's step number one. 
I go through backpacks like crazy. Like, because I fly so much, they always fuck up my bags. It's always the, like the, the, the lining on like where the strap meets the actual backpack. It gets fucking torn, I'm always carrying so much shit. I, I go through more straps than you guys do. <laughs> I was trying to get to it. I was like, how can I, how can I squeeze that in without any lube, you know? <laughs> That's so cute, man. I wish I was gay. Yeah! I'd never pay for a job. <laughs> you calm down back there before I have her come back there and peg the shit out of you. Okay? I swear to God. What gets in the way the most? Communication, I guess. Communication, that's a big one. <sighs> well, it doesn't always need to be verbal, you know? I'm sure you guys are pros at reading lips. <laughs> you know, settle it, rock, paper, scissors. You know? Like adults. You got your foot up on stage the whole you hella comfortable, man. What what kind of work you need those boots for? Electrical contractor. Electrical contractor. Nice. You ever been electrocuted? I have. Well, yeah. shocked. You been shocked? Yeah. Like finding out your daughter's a lesbian? <laughs> You did IVF, inver, infertile, in, uh, uh, <laughs> infertile vitro asphyxiation. <laughs> they put eggs yeah. and semen inside you, yeah. and then they just fucking. <laughs> so this is my impression of them after an argument. <laughs> Did you know it was going to be two? Like, did you know you were selecting twins? Yes. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. Sex. You had to choose the sex. You can't do that. Canceled. <laughs> cancel, 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 cancel. Shame. This is what I was talking about, man. With Nashville, so funny. You guys were like, no school shooting stuff. But I was like, a little bit of transphobia? And you guys were like, yeah! <laughs> we're back in it, baby! Uh, yeah, you can't make fun of the kids, just the shooters. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Exclusively dated women, which I get is confusing by the everything. And the only reason that I think people would believe that I've exclusively dated women is because I wear so much flannel, they must think, oh, he's a lesbian. <laughs> Next time I really tried to date, I was in the sixth grade. And uh, the problem is, is that... and I also don't know why I look like this was taken in a hostage situation. <laughs> but it does. From like the middle of Missouri, a place called St. Clair, Missouri, which means, thank, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that got out, oh my gosh. <laughs> if there's a tractor parked out front, I'm like, oh, I know her, like that. Stop, no, you're not at church. I am sorry, but I know what I look like, okay? I'm acutely aware. If I come up here with an acoustic guitar, it's over. Yeah. How great is our God? Like, you can, you guys can see it, and I, I get it. Y'all are adorable, man. How, how, how long y'all been together? Uh, seven, eight years. Seven, eight years? I, I am a football player, female football player. You're a female wow. football player? Get the fuck out of here. What is that? For me? Shut up. Yeah. What? Thank you, babe. Shut the fuck up. Is this the is the Cincinnati chaos? Columbus, Columbus chaos. No wow. fucking way. So it's like it's like an indoor like arena league. No, it's outdoor. The outdoor? Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. What um what neighborhood park do y'all play at? <laughs> you know what's crazy? When I when we were just in Omaha a couple days ago, and somebody brought up that they they have an arena team there called the Omaha Beef. And I was and I was curious. I was like, is, I was like, is there is there a women's team? And they said there used to be. It was like the Omaha Hearts. And I just I kept thinking about how much of a missed opportunity it was to not call the women's team the Omaha Beef Curtains. Like how this is fucking awesome, man. Hold on a second, I, man.
Man, I just, I've had this on for five seconds. I already feel, I already feel like I deserve less pay. This is crazy, man. <laughs> It's no pay? You gotta pay to play. You have to pay to play? Man. That is the worst possible scenario. But you do it because you love it. What position do you play? Uh, D tackle O-line. D tackle O-line. Man, it's crazy because you look like you hate sax. <laughs> That's been... What are you thinking? I think we go for two. We've been going for one, but I think we can go for two. That's fucking awesome. I, I, lo I love you get to play a sport still for fun as an adult. That's, oh, that's the dream. Well, there are bigger dreams, but... You know, gotta be a realist at some point. Do you guys get, like, a, you guys get a championship and everything? Yeah, check out on ESPN2. On ESPN2? No way. Really? I Let me know when the playoffs are. I want to place bets. Okay. Y'all got any trans players? <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> Cho ching <laughs> Oh shit, they're switching up on defense. <laughs> a couple as well? Oh man, gay couple and a lesbian couple? Oh shit. You guys don't even know each other? Wow, this club should be sued. <laughs> they made a section? How long have you guys been together? Eight years. Eight years? About the same? It feels like it didn't work out between y'all and y'all. And you were like, you know what? Hmm. Your story, where'd you guys meet? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? That's so gay. That's so gay. You can't even go to Puerto Rico and not fuck a dude. Like, even they're sexy. They're just sexy over there, man. You're both from there? Oh, man, you guys are worn out. Fuck. I admire both your strengths. And what do you guys do now? Uh, teachers. You're the teachers? What, what do you teach? Uh, U.S. History in high school. U.S. History? Yeah. You teach U.S. History? <laughs> That's a job I didn't think immigrants would even want. <laughs> because you teach it the right way. You're right. You got to get fired immediately. This is where I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> Fuck! I never thought of it like that. You're going to tell the real history. <laughs> 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 And this whole table. Oh yeah, dude. I can't. I can't stop thinking about if they fought. That's why she plays professional football. She plays football. She gave me a fucking mean machine jersey, dog, from the longest yard. She will fuck you up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She wouldn't fight fair either. She'd be like, let me get the strap. <laughs> the strap, like a gun, how rappers be saying, yeah. Put a strap on, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, if, if, was, if that was on the table right now, who would have this baby right now? <laughs> Set up, bitch, run it. I'm about to put you through a combine, girl. I swear to God. <laughs> but she got to to get to the bed. She got to go through tires. <laughs> so if you guys have a lady, you gonna do like the whole like you know like turkey bucks and turkey thing. <laughs> but if you could, it would be better just to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you actually, do you know? Do you, <laughs> hey, this free range. <laughs> Who knows each other? Two and two. We're married and we're mother and daughter. Gotcha. Okay. What? Married, mother, daughter. Mother and daughter? Good for you. You both in my age range. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not even in your weight class. 
<laughs> what is your ethnicity? That's hot. So people want to know what you are so they can know how to hate you. Yeah, that's a good point. Wow. I'm whatever you need. I'm whatever you need. That's so funny. I was on the Latino Comedy Slam. I was on BDT. You did Latino Comedy Slam? Yeah, I did a Latino thing. I did a black thing. I did, listen, this is great for Hollywood. Whatever you need. The only place this isn't good is prison because I wouldn't know what game to go. Oh, yeah. Who would you choose? Whoever was winning. <laughs> I would bomb. Where's your husband? Not here. He's a uh, where is song? It's a him. She's not here either. <laughs> You have kids? I know that's right. How many kids do you have? A boy and a girl, three and a one-year-old. A three and a one-year-old? You should be at home. <laughs> Those are babies. I know. You got it like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ruining the family since 19. Yeah, she got a diaper on right now. Like, I'm going to do my eye. She goes, here, put your number in here and hands me a baby monitor. <laughs> how, how many months are you? I'm curious. Five months, and you're out like this? You're not sick or anything? Can I get you a drink? No. <laughs> you look great though, it's good. pregnancy looks good on you. Who's the, who's the, who's the father? Oh, well, say it. His name is Cole. Cole? Cole? What's the last name? Oh, he sounds like a fuckboy. Cole? Oh, no, yeah, for sure. His last name is bad. What's his last name? Can I spell it? No, I'm just saying. No. Cole. 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 I hope it's the N word. <laughs> Oh, no. I hope, I hope. I'm gonna need you to put some pads on, bitch. Y'all got a drill to run. Y'all got. Oh, the homework drill, bitch. Right. Who know her family's reason that they like saying it? Oh, yeah. Never calls him Cole. It's Mr. Yeah. <laughs> every, every time. Engage. What's your name? My name's Kaylee. 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 You, well, you can say it. I think. That's the beauty of it. What am I doing with that? Aliens? Ali aliens are similar concepts. I also, do you believe in aliens? No. no. What? <laughs> no! Dude! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now they teach American history, dog. <laughs>